All right, so we're going to start with the given amount of the species whose concentration we know. That's 50 milliliters of this calcium chloride solution. To count, determine the proper formula for calcium chloride, you're going to write down calcium and look up on the, since this is an ionic compound, a metal and a nonmetal, you've got charged particles. You're going to look up on the periodic table with oxidation numbers what the charge on calcium is. That's a 2 plus. You're going to look up what the charge on the chlorine is. That's 1 negative. We have a 2 plus charged particle and a 1 negative charged particle. And we need whatever coefficients that I can put in front of these. It will give us a zero charge when we're done. So I need two, cal two chlorines and one calcium. So when I put this together, I'm going to need two chloride particles. And when I bond them together, this becomes CaCl2. The subscript 2 shows this chlorine bonded with this calcium. Putting the calcium and chlorine together shows them bonded together. So the, it's milliliters of calcium chloride solution. All right. Then we want to take the concentration of this solution. And we're going to break it into separate uh, parts in a fraction. So the concentration of this solution is 1.5 molar, which is 1.5 moles of the solute calcium chloride in one liter of the calcium chloride solution. All right. And then we're going to take the concentration of the original solution and flip it. So with a 7 molar concentration, we don't want 7 moles on the top. We want to flip it. 7.00 moles of the calcium chloride solution. I'm sorry, calcium chloride goes in the bottom. And the 1 liter of calcium chloride solution goes in the top. All right, and now we're ready to do the math. We got to cancel our units. Can't cancel milliliters. I can cancel moles. I can cancel liters. I can cancel calcium chloride solution. Okay, and I can cancel calcium chloride. And I'm left when I'm done with some milliliter amount of calcium chloride solution. I'm looking for. Um, how much? So that's milliliters would measure how much in, in volume anyway. Okay. So let's do the math. So 50 times 1.5. Enter. And then divided by 7. And I get this large number here. Okay, and what I have here is milliliters of a calcium chloride solution want to underline all the insignificant digits and looking at the measured and calculated numbers here. This is measured, calculated, calculated. This one has the least digits. I want the same number of digits as this number that's least precise. So I only need two digits. I'm going to round that off then to 11 milliliters of... Now, it's, let's be careful here. All right, because what we have are two different calcium chloride solutions. We've got one calcium chloride solution that's a 1.5 molar concentration, and another that has a 7 molar cal concentration. question is, which one is this? Since this is the one I diluted to get, it must be the lower concentration. Please read the problem and make sure you understand what I'm saying. Huh? Well, there, but there's two different calcium chloride solutions, okay? There's one that's 7 molar and one that's 1.5 molar in the problem. Which one is this one going to be? Well, this is the one you diluted to get. So it's got to be the 1.5 molar, right? 
So when we write the answer, we really need to say which one this is. Okay, this is the this is 11 milliliters of the 1.5 molar calcium chloride solution. It's important that you say clearly what you're doing and what it is you're working with. Okay, so when you write the answer, you need to make sure you're saying what it is. Is that clear? Is that clear? All right. Well, now that we figured out how to find an answer. Okay, let's figure out how to use this answer. All right, what do I do with this information? Now that I know what this is, I need 11 milliliters. Um, I'm sorry, you know what, that's wrong. This is not the 1.5 molar solution. We need, we're trying to find how much of the 7 molar solution there is. Okay, so this is not the 1.5 molar, is it? Okay, we did, we, we are going to dilute it to get 1.5, but this is the one that belongs with 7. Well, why do you say so, if you thought that? You question yourself? Okay. So this is the 7 molar solution. Okay. Alright. So what are we going to do with this? Now that we know that what we need is 11 moles, 11 milliliters of this 7 molar solution, what we're going to use is we're going to dilute that to get the 1.5 molar concentration. Okay. And what you do is you take this amount, and you put it into a 50.0 milliliter container. So you're going to have 11 milliliters in a 50 milliliter container. Then you're going to fill the container to the 50 milliliter mark with water and that will dilute it to the concentration you want. Now that you know what, how much you need to start with, that's how you get to the concentration you're trying to find. Any questions about that? Absolutely. You're right, because the first one, I'm just trying to get you to find the answer. Now I want you to know how to apply it. Now that we figure out how to get an answer, now I want you to know how to apply it, okay? Sure. Hmm? So on that earlier problem then, we would take this 17 milliliters of that HCl solution. With the 12 molar concentration. Put it in a 100.0 milliliter container. And fill with water. to the 100 milliliter mark. Okay? That's what we would have done with the previous answer. Now, when we found out we needed 17 milliliters of that stronger HCl solution. The stronger HCl solution is not just any HCl solution, it's the 12.0 uh, molar HCl solution. Okay? That makes sense? All right. Is it the 
Uh, let's see. I haven't taken up the grades yet, have I? I haven't even told you how to grade it yet, have I? Hmm? Yeah, that's right. Let's do the points here. Okay, so you have to start with this amount of this. That's one point here. You have to build this conversion unit, so that's worth a point. You have to build this flipped conversion here. Put this, this one in here. That's a point. The unrounded answer is worth a point. And the rounded answer is worth a point. Okay, so that's a five-point problem, isn't it? All right. 